What's up guys, it's DRX, and today I'm going to be talking about the Raspberry Pi Zero 2W. Now, it's a tiny microcomputer, it's like an actual computer, and I'm going to show you it today. So, here we go. There it is. So, I don't even know why these have out. Um, this tiny computer, it actually works. Also, if you're wondering about the camera, uh, I didn't have a phone rig, so... You got a good microphone, but you got a bad camera. I'm sorry about that. Wow. But, uh, let's just open this up. Oh my gosh. And you'll see here. Hold on. Come on, man. Please. That it's it's very small. It's about the size of my palm. And my hands are actually pretty small. So. What is it? It's a silly little computer. As you can see. The SD card right here. Uh, that's just the operating system. It's pretty much all of that. It has Wi-Fi. You can see right here. You can also see on the back if you check these oh my gosh these lines right here it says uh hey yeah you know look at that it has wi-fi so what can it do basically anything that a computer can do except worse why would you want to buy this well if you're broke there you go here's a cool computer you can obviously upgrade it you can add a heat sink all that so it doesn't overheat and kill itself but as you can see here it has its own processor and I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool. I tested it. You'll see some images on screen now of me testing it. Uh, it actually took me two hours to set up because I was using the wrong monitor. And it wasn't compatible with the monitor I was using. So, like, I was trying relentlessly to get it to work. And the LED was blinking, but it wasn't displaying. So I had to try it on my TV. And, yeah, there we go. Solving the issue. I can't give a full honest review about this thing because my freaking I don't have a mouse for it. Because you can see right here, these little suckers right here, they just use micro... USB ports, whatever you call them, micro USB, not D, oh my gosh, and I have to get a USB C to US, micro USB, and I went to Best Buy, and they are like, hey, they don't make those, but I mean, pretty sure they do, because it's on their website, so, this little thing, this is one of my favorites, okay, this is awesome, I like it, even though it has, like, the memory of a goldfish, it has, like, 512 kilobytes of RAM, if you really want a good computer for less than I'd say $200, and you want it to be Raspberry Pi, I'd say you have to get, like, the Raspberry Pi 5 or something like that. The awesome thing about this is that it uses mini HDMI right here instead of just normal HDMI. It uses mini everything, micro USB, I mean micro SD, micro USBs, and mini HDMI. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not that bad, okay? It can be worse. It can use some freaking forbidden plug, like, hold on. This thing that hasn't been like used since the frickin nintendo 3ds days but it doesn't it's a very good machine don't get me wrong i was very excited when i got it i got it on accident uh don't ask me how i got it on accident you don't need to know but all you need to know is it's pretty cool and if you want a low-end computer and under 20 dollars get this thing it even comes with wi-fi maybe i'll make a tutorial on how to set it up if you really want me to but uh where should i put it i'll just put it to the side right here we're gonna review another thing which is hold on oh here we go okay there we go that's that's what i'm reviewing you want to know what that is guess guess look inside there look inside that's the raspberry pi pico now you may be asking me is this a computer too um no if this was a computer the world would be a better place but this is not a computer um so this is just a microcontroller and what is a microcontroller uh yeah <laughs> i have the same question no i'm just kidding uh, basically you can power low on machines, maybe run a web server, I've never actually tried. It doesn't have a lot of storage, it doesn't have really any storage. Uh, it can power displays, it can run tiny tiny games on it. You can add micro SD cards through a breadboard or if you solder it on. And I mean yeah, it's pretty cool, obviously. There's an LED, where is the LED? It is right here. You probably can't see because the camera is freaking trash, but... Next to my finger, that little white thing next to my finger, that's an LED. And yeah, basically, it just powers stuff. It uses a micro USB port. I don't like the micro USB ports. Whenever I see one, I want to throw the machine against the wall. But for five, four dollars, this is what you're gonna get. Which, it's a really good machine. It's a really good microprocessor. Some would say it's even better than the Arduino Uno, Uno stuff like that. Which, I've never tested the Arduino New Unos, so don't go in the comments and say, Oh my gosh, because I've never tried. But, that's the Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller. Very good for its cash price of four to five dollars. But, if you're looking, for a Pico, you probably shouldn't get this one because this one's old. Now this Goomer, I literally just got. I got this, um, and this, this and this came in the same package on, uh, 
what was it, Wednesday? Of this week. Now, obviously, you can see my scuffed soldering job. I've soldered before, just not with these small of pins. So, I mean, it works, okay? It works. It does, it's not like destroying the board. I made sure that I had to clean this board with isopropyl alcohol, or however you pronounce it, because some flux got on the board and on the traces, and you know, that's not very good, and the board won't function if it's on the traces. But, as you can see, it holds the pins together. There's no solder bridges, so the board won't like kill itself. But yeah, uh, now what's the difference between these two? This one just looks cooler than this one because, you know, cool logo. But, there's actually a big difference between these two. So, I'll just zoom in with magical editing powers, and you'll see that this actually you probably won't see because you can't read anything on the screen except for Pico 2 right now. But, the Pico 2 has a better core processing unit than the Pico 1. Because, the Pico 1 has an RP2040, and the Pico 2 has an RP2340, I think. And, well, this one just has more storage capabilities. It can power more higher-end stuff, even though it can't power, like, very big stuff, like I'd say. This thing can? This thing could power bigger stuff than this thing can. And this thing can power bigger stuff than most things can. But, this thing is just overall better. It has a micro USB port. I still want to throw it against the wall, but you get what you pay for. It's very good microprocessor, microcontroller, not microprocessor, but I'd say I like it way better than the Pico 1, because it's just, it's faster overall, even though it's not like the fastest thing. It still has the LED light, it still has pretty much everything except better, it has upgraded ARM Cortexes, it has all that stuff, I have no idea what ARM Cortex is, I still need to learn, don't quote me on this. Um, I accidentally burned the boot cell button, cause I touched the soldering gun to it, and you can't see it from here, but it is burnt on the side, and some of it is missing, but it still clicks, so that's good. I would rate this, I'd say, in a 7 out of 10. Obviously, you can't do everything on it, but you can do a lot on it. And yeah, I mean, I like it. I like it better than the Pico 1, but they're pretty much the same, except this one's just upgraded. The last thing I want to show you, which isn't really a circuit board, well, it isn't at all. Basically, it is a display. Now, I'm going to rant for a second, because I was supposed to get another display in the mail. So, hold on, let me tell you something. That's the display. It's a pretty cool display. I soldered the pins onto it. As you can see, my soldering job on this is probably way better than the soldering job on this thing. But, I'm gonna rant for a second. So, I've never powered on the display. Um, I don't think I have the right connector to it. And, um, I might have ruined it. I have no idea. I don't think I've ruined it, but I've never used it before. Pretty cool display. But I'm gonna talk about displays for a second. You ready? So, the Pico. I ordered a display for this. I was gonna get the Pico 2 and a display. I wasn't even supposed to get this, but they sent me this instead. Which, I mean, is a win, because obviously I still paid for it, but I got this instead. Which, I feel like I'd much rather have this than, you know, another display, but I can't test this with a display until I get the display, or until I figure out how to use this. So, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where the heck's my paper? Hold on. I'm gonna blur out all of this because it's literally just, like, personal information galore. But, as you can see here, the Raspberry Pi Pico header set, and then we have the 1.3 inch OLED display module for the Raspberry Pi Pico. And there's no, um, 02W anywhere. And, um, as you can see, we still got it. But, I mean, I paid the same price for it, I believe, as I would for the 02W. So, you know, it's a win-win technically, I asked for silver, I'm pretty sure I got gold, but obviously I would like the display because I wanted to test it out really bad with the Pico and Pico 2 and I can't until I get the display. And I've been buying circuit boards like left and right recently, so yeah. But this is basically my whole collection so far, I have to get more. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm learning about them more, and yeah, this whole thing right here costs like about, this is 60 altogether. My brokenness has hit a new low. I feel like one of these would be 60, but no, this whole thing combined is 60. So if you really want a cool machine, get this, okay? This will treat you. You just need the right connectors for it. Uh, I like them, pretty cool. I'd rate this 7 out of 10 in total. I still have to test this out. Cause cannot use this yet until I get a mouse. That 
works with it. Either I need a wire, like Bluetooth mouse, or I need um, the connector USB-C to uh, micro USB. Cause, hold on, I'll show you my mouse. As you can see, it uses USB-C and not micro USB or USB-A. So, as you can see, I like Raspberry Pi a lot. They do good stuff, obviously. I got my wrong order, but I like it still. So, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thank you for hearing me rant about this for about 15 minutes when I'm recording this. I don't know how long it's going to be in the video. I'll see you guys later. If you want a tutorial on how to set this up, because it took me two hours because I'm a dumb, dumb head, then yeah. And if you want to see more videos with these circuit boards, then just ask me in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace!